Hi, I'm Dr. Messina, and today we're going to be discussing the removal of microblade tattoo ink as well as traditional cosmetic eyebrow tattoo ink. Patients request eyebrow tattooing for many reasons. The most common would be a thinning brow, either due to overplucking or hormones. It could also be due to alopecia, where you don't have any brow hair at all. The two options were a cosmetic tattooing or microblading, and there's differences not only in the inks used, but in the outcome. When you have a traditional cosmetic ink placed for your eyebrow, it tends to have a lot of color to it, and I mean a lot of definition to the color, different than a black tattoo would look. A black eyebrow had a little more natural appearance and maybe a little more zest to the color. Microblading, on the other hand, uses a different technique and the ink involved has more minerals in it. However, microblading gives a much more natural and beautiful appearance. Despite this, patients still can be dissatisfied with their outcomes and request laser removal of the tattooed eyebrows. They always wonder, can it be done? And the answer is it can be done, but we have to be aware of specifics regarding each different technique that are going to affect whether we do the procedure or not. Now, when a patient presented with the traditional cosmetic ink eyebrow, if it was black, it responded just like a regular black tattoo, very easy. If it was red, we had a little trouble. The red used to oxidize into more of a blackish brown and it became very difficult to remove. In fact, the normal black eyebrow tattoo would take anywhere from two to about five sessions. If you had a red ink that oxidized and became black, then you could expect seven to 10 or more. So you more than double your treatments. So when I would see someone who looked challenging like that, what we would do is we would do a small piece a little corner, very unassuming area, because if it was going to oxidize, it was going to do it immediately. And then we can make the decision, are we going to proceed or not? Now, the microblade eyebrows, they look magnificent. They could look very real, even up close. However, again, some patients might be upset. They might feel that it goes too far to the side, too far to the middle. They might be positioned too high or too low, and they too request laser removal. Microblade ink is a little different than a regular cosmetic ink. The microblade ink has a lot more minerals in it, and I found that even the black could be difficult. They almost immediately oxidized into a neon looking orangey yellow color, a very unnatural looking color, and it was almost illuminated. So what we would have to do is on the second treatment, switch over to a 532 laser, which would target red and hopefully yellows and oranges. However, even though those colors did start to come out, it did take many sessions to remove that. So if you have microbladed eyebrows, adjusting them is much harder than it was adjusting the older traditional cosmetic eyebrow. So it's completely possible to remove cosmetic ink, eyebrow tattoos, as well as microbladed eyebrow tattoos. You just have to know what you have and go to the best artist you can to have them placed in the first place. If you enjoy this type of information, I do have another video coming up on scalp micropigmentation, the ink and the removal of it. And remember, click subscribe and hit the bell to be alerted to future videos.